Hi, Patrice here. I'm out and about again. I don't even go out that much. It's just I tend to do the videos when I'm out. <laughs> so, <laughs> I um, am thinking about this book that I'm reading currently called Radical Acceptance by Tara Brock. I first learned about the concept of radical acceptance through uh, um, a class that I took. It was a 12-week class with um, where everybody in the class had a loved one who is emotionally dysregulated. And um, it was on how to cope and um, it was based on the um, DBT model of therapy. And it was a, an excellent course. I learned so much. And um, frankly, what I learned was not um, so much what I, it helped me to, in, in small ways to um, know how to, um, to like deal with my mother but more so it helped me to know how to conduct myself in all relationships and um, one of the concepts that uh, we learned that I absolutely enjoyed learning about was radical acceptance so when I realized that um, or remembered because I had known before if there was a book on radical acceptance, I was like, oh, let me look at that. And I'm, I'm reading it through my, or listening to it, actually, the audio book through my library. And it's it's good. It's, it's pretty good. And it's, um, it doesn't, um, there's somebody, I don't know who, but it doesn't matter anyway. Um, they, they talk about, or the, the author talks a lot about, like, uh, Buddhism and like Buddha this Buddha that and um that doesn't bother me at all because I know where I'm coming from I understand um in a very different way now that everybody's on their own journey and you do what you're gonna do <laughs> like you know I don't have to police you I don't have to try to evangelize you you know like I'm Holy Spirit that's not my job you know so um I can just love you and let you be, you know, and, and you'll, you'll, you know, I can plant seeds and God's got it. It's good. You know, so, um, so I can be free in that way and, um, and learn and, um, it's good. It's really good. And so I'm just thinking about all the different things. Like my friend said to me the other day when I was, um, I have one friend, I call her every few years. <laughs> She knows my body type and and what looks best on my body. And um, I, I just forget. I had these moments. My daughter is really good, though, now, too. My oldest daughter. And it, it helps that two of my daughters and I share the same body type. So that works. But um, I am... Um, uh, I, I do this thing where I contact this one friend every now and then, every few years. And I'm like, okay, where do I shop? What do I buy? And um, usually it's for an event. But this time I was like, okay, I'm just tired of looking crazy. And, um, and just having on clothes just to say I have on something. And so um, she and I talked for a while. And we talked about our um, like body image issues. And it was so enlightening because I've always thought she looked stunning with whatever she wears. And she weighs more than she ever imagined she would. And she's not happy with it, but she's she's learning to just love herself as she is and dress the body that she's wearing today. And, um, and she was telling me, she was like, yeah, she said, and she said to me that she always thought that my body was perfect. And I was like, what? Like, it's amazing how that works. But, um, so then we talked, she was telling me though, that I was trying to fix a problem that doesn't exist <laughs> yet. Like, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I'm thinking of 
dressing a body that I don't I don't have at this point like you know <laughs> so it's like you know work with what you have and I was just like oh my gosh this sounds like radical acceptance <laughs> you know and um again radical acceptance isn't because I think I said this in another video it isn't about um accepting what is in a way that you're okay with it and you're like okay this is what it is you know and I'm gonna stay here it's not about that it's just about not causing yourself further suffering and harm by um, just like dwelling there and, and lamenting and, and not doing anything productive <laughs> about whatever it is. So with regards to the, the stuff with my mother, she is who she is. I love her still. I can't change her, won't even try haven't even suggested it to her and won't um but or not even but and I am not willing to continue to accept what she chooses to dish out because of her own wounds I'm not doing it anymore so just like she has the right to choose to stay in the exact same place that she's in I have the right and choice to not accept it you know and to do what I need to do for me and um, there's freedom for all in that way and with regards to my weight loss no I'm not where I want to be I'm like a good 30, 30 pounds heavier than I want to be than I'm comfortable with but my jeans right now that I got on right now, they are size eight. So I'm out of those double digits. And that was my first goal, was to be out of the double digits because I have no business in double digits because I'm so short. And then also, um, um, I'm still like, I'm gonna dress like I, this shirt that I have on right now. I've had this shirt, you know, for a couple years now. And um, I just, I don't know. I just wasn't wearing it. I don't know. But I have some things. I need to go through my closets and figure out exactly what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep. And, um, you know, go from there. But I just want to look and feel good when I do decide to go out. And this space, I'm thinking this space might be a little tight. Yeah, because if I don't, I'm like I don't want to block anybody in. If they are not a small person, they might have trouble. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this um, new outlook that I have with regards to dressing myself and feeling good. Because it, I, you know, it's like a cycle. If, if I'm dressing in a way that I feel like I just look frumpy when I go out, I'm not going to feel good about myself, which is not going to help my mood and attitude at all. And then it, it could be that it makes me less motivated to get out and run like I really want to and enjoy. And um, it could just be this you know, cycle of, you know, okay, well, then I'll just stay where I am at the very least, if not gain, but I don't eat in a crazy way. So thankfully I have not gained any weight um, throughout the time that I've um, not um, exercised. I haven't gained anything. Um, so, so that's good. <laughs> and actually it not only have I not gained, maybe I've lost inches, maybe because Again, my size is smaller now. A couple sizes smaller, actually. But anyway, um, I'm working on this whole radical acceptance thing and really learning to um, just be where I am and be okay with that. And um, that can enable me to make whatever changes I need to make in the moment so that the future that I would like to see could come, <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> and then I'm um, just really excited about, I'm trying to get more excited about eating um, so that, because I don't eat enough and I want to um, just incorporate things that I'm like excited to eat, excited to try. And so yesterday I tried to, uh, I made some sauerkraut. I've never had sauerkraut in my life. I don't eat hot dogs. <laughs> um, so I'll be figuring it out as far as what I'll be eating it with. Or maybe I'll eat it by itself. I don't know. But I put um, in my sauerkraut, I put uh, some ginger and garlic. And, and I shaved some uh, carrots and put it in there. And the process was just fun so I'm really hoping that I really like it because I enjoyed the process otherwise I'm gonna have to find some people who are gonna want me to make some sauerkraut for them because <laughs> I really enjoy making it I think I'm gonna really like doing more fermenting I've, I've done fermenting in other ways um with other foods like I, I've done like carrots I want to do some onions though but um yeah I'm excited about adding more because I want to get to helping my family and myself with the whole gut health bit and um so that everybody's okay can you get in okay because um I didn't know if this lady could get in her her car because it's kind of tight and I have a van so um but she got in okay so um that ends this video I'm happy that the like the last my last two videos have been a little lighter in um, nature not all heavy I mean I have some stuff <laughs> I do it it's I sounded like my father just now like my real legit father when I laughed a little bit just now but anyway um I miss him too I wish there's so much I, I wish I could talk to him about now things that he shared with me before that I didn't believe him about before but anyway so what I was going to say was how um, I've been pretty moody lately and I think I had a win but I'm not positive if it, if it was a real bona fide win I was very angry with my husband and I um, I stood up for myself I need to explain I think I think I need to explain myself. I'm not sure. Because, frankly, narcissistic abuse has it such that you don't know your head from your tails with regards to your feelings. With regards to, like, like you feel like you're wrong all the time. Like, your feelings about things are wrong. And, yeah, just all kinds of crazy. So, I was angry with him. And I, I said what I needed to say. And I got the results that I wanted, but it was funky in that I, um, because frankly, I cursed. I didn't curse at him. I didn't call him a name like, you know, like that, but I cursed and I don't typically do that. And it was like, why is it that I have to curse for you to like shape up? Like, you know, like what? So that's annoying, but I feel like it was a win in that I wasn't afraid to just stand up for for myself in that moment and um because i realized i have a tendency to not want to stand up for myself and because i'm afraid of rejection and abandonment and um i'm afraid that you know a person won't love me anymore and um, because I've been told, you know, these things, like, you know, I've been told, you know, I don't want you. I want to, you know, like, like by my mother. And, you know, when it comes from a parent, that stuff, it's deep, you know, and um, whether you want to face it or, you know, whatever or not, it's still there. It's deep and it's real. So, um, so I think it was a win in that I stood up for myself and I got the results I wanted to get. But I think I need to explain some things further to my husband as far as why I got to the anger um because i'm not sure he understands and he is not such that like the person that will like want to get an explanation necessarily he'll just go move on and like everything's okay because like we're good now but um yeah so 
I'm um, trying to pay attention to my moods and when I feel violated in, um, in order to keep my self-respect and um, gain more self-respect, I'm going to speak up for myself. And so that's good. So I will end the video here. And who I got to tell you too. The other video, I was talking about all the stuff I made. One thing I did not mention that I made was some more rose water. And um, if you haven't guessed, I make everything, okay? So um, I also make uh, um, hair oil for my locks, and, well, for all of our hair, even the girls that have loose natural hair. I um, make a hair oil for us, it's herbal. And um, in my rose water this time, I put a little bit of that herbal hair oil Oh my goodness. Even my husband is going in the fridge because you got to store the rose water in the fridge. So, um, cause it'll go bad. So my, even my husband this morning before he left, he sprayed his hair <laughs> and his beard with the rose water <laughs> and, um, rubbed it in. And he's like, can you make it not smell like roses though? <laughs> And I told him, I said, well, I do have a hair oil, too, upstairs that doesn't have the rosy smell to it. And I was like, but the whole point of the rose water is the rose. So, because it's very good, you know, for skin and hair. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go back home and make me some rose tea. I might even make some rose honey soon. So, we'll see. But I'll go ahead and for real end the video because I keep saying I'm going to end it and then I don't. So, um, like, subscribe, and um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.